Zagreb, Croatian pronunciation, Zreb listen, is the capital and the largest city of Croatia. It is located in the northwest of the country, along the Sava River, at the southern slopes of the Medvednica mountain. Zagreb lies at an elevation of approximately 122 meters (400 feet) above sea level. The estimated population of the city in 2018 was 802,762, an increase of 2,8% since 2007. The population of the Zagreb urban agglomeration is about 1.2 million, approximately a quarter of the total population of Croatia. Zagreb is a city with a rich history dating from the Roman times to the present day. The oldest settlement located in the vicinity of the city was the Roman Andautonia, in today's Shitarjevo. The name, Zagreb, is recorded in 1134, in reference to the foundation of the settlement at Kaptol in 1094. Zagreb became a free royal town in 1242. In 1851 Zagreb had its first mayor, Janko Kamauf. Zagreb has special status as a Croatian administrative division and is a consolidated city-county but separated from Zagreb County, and is administratively subdivided into 17 city districts. Most of them are at a low elevation along the river Sava Valley, whereas northern and northeastern city districts, such as Podselgeme and Sesvete districts are situated in the foothills of the Medvednica mountain, making the city's geographical image rather diverse. The city extends over 30 km east west and around 20 km north south. The transport connections, concentration of industry, scientific, and research institutions, and industrial tradition underlie its leading economic position in Croatia. Zagreb is the seat of the central government, administrative bodies, and almost all government ministries. Almost all of the largest Croatian companies, media, and scientific institutions have their headquarters in the city. Zagreb is the most important transport hub in Croatia where Central Europe, the Mediterranean and Southeast Europe meet, making the Zagreb area the center of the road, rail and air networks of Croatia. It is a city known for its diverse economy, high quality of living, museums, sporting, and entertainment events. Its main branches of economy are high-tech industries and the service sector. Topic name The etymology of the name Zagreb is unclear. It was used for the United City only from 1852, but it had been in use as the name of the Zagreb diocese since the 12th century, and was increasingly used for the city in the 17th century. The name is first recorded in a charter by Ostrogon Archbishop Felician, dated 1134, mentioned as Zagrabiensum Episcopatum. The older form of the name is Zagrab. The modern Croatian form Zagreb is first recorded in a 1689 map by Nicholas Sanson. An even older form is reflected in Hungarian Zabrag recorded from C. 1200 and in use until the 18th century. For this, Hungarian linguist Gula Dexi proposes the etymology of Shabrag, a well-attested hypocorism of the name Cyprian. The same form is reflected in a number of Hungarian toponyms, such as C. Sepreg. The name might be derived from Proto-Slavic word asterisk greb, which means hill, uplift. However, note Serbo-Croatian breg, probably of Roman origin, but according to Dexi, 1990, it could be an Austrian-German reanalysis of asterisk zugram. 
In Middle Latin and Modern Latin, Zagreb is known as Agronum, the name of an unrelated Arabian city in Strabo, Zagrabia or Mons Graecensis, also Mons Crescensis, in reference to Greek Gradic. In Croatian folk etymology, the name of the city has been derived from either the verb Zagreb, meaning to scoop or to dig. One folk legend illustrating this derivation ties the name to a drought of the early 14th century, during which Augustan Kazotic c. 1260–1323 is said to have dug a well which miraculously produced water. In another legend, a city governor is thirsty and orders a girl named Manda to scoop water from Mandusvak well, nowadays a fountain in Ban Jelicic Square, using the imperative, Zagrabi, Mando. Scoop, Manda. History The oldest settlement located near today's Zagreb was a Roman town of Andautonia, now Shitarjevo, which existed between the 1st and the 5th century AD. The first recorded appearance of the name Zagreb is dated to 1094, at which time the city existed as two different city centers, the smaller, eastern Kaptol, inhabited mainly by clergy and housing Zagreb Cathedral, and the larger, western Gradic, inhabited mainly by craftsmen and merchants. Gradic and Kaptol were united in 1851 by Ban Josip Jelicic, who was credited for this, with the naming the main city square, Ban Jelicic Square in his honor. During the period of former Yugoslavia, Zagreb remained an important economic center of the country, and was the second largest city. After Croatia declared independence from Yugoslavia, Zagreb was proclaimed its capital. <laughs> Early Zagreb The history of Zagreb dates as far back as 1094 AD when the Hungarian king Ladislaus, returning from his campaign against Croatia, founded a diocese. Alongside the bishop's see, the canonical settlement Kaptol developed north of Zagreb Cathedral, as did the fortified settlement Gradic on the neighboring hill, the border between the two being the Medveskic stream. Today the latter is Zagreb's upper town Grad and is one of the best preserved urban nuclei in Croatia. Both settlements came under Tatar attack in 1242. As a sign of gratitude for offering him a safe haven from the Tatars the Croatian and Hungarian king Bela IV bestowed Gradic with a golden bull, which offered its citizens exemption from county rule and autonomy, as well as its own judicial system. <laughs> 16th to 18th centuries There were numerous connections between the Kaptol diocese and the free sovereign town of Gradic for both economic and political reasons, but they weren't known as an integrated city, even as Zagreb became the political center and, representing both Croatia, Slavonia and Dalmatia, first convened at Gradic. Zagreb was chosen as the seat of the Ban of Croatia in 1621 under Ban Nikola Frankopan. At the invitation of the Croatian parliament, the Jesuits came to Zagreb and built the first grammar school, the St. Catherine's Church and Monastery. In 1669, they founded an academy where philosophy, theology and law were taught, the forerunner of today's University of Zagreb. During the 17th and 18th centuries, Zagreb was badly devastated by fire and the plague. 
In 1776, the Royal Council government moved from Varazdan to Zagreb and during the reign of Joseph II Zagreb became the headquarters of the Varazdan and Karlovac General Command. Topic: 19th to mid 20th century. In the 19th century, Zagreb was the center of the Croatian national revival and saw the erection of important cultural and historic institutions. In 1850, the town was united under its first mayor, Janko Kamauf, the first railway line to connect Zagreb with Zidane Most and Sisak was opened in 1862 and in 1863 Zagreb received a gasworks. The Zagreb Waterworks was opened in 1878. After the 1880 Zagreb earthquake, up to the 1914 outbreak of World War I, development flourished and the town received the characteristic layout which it has today. The first horse-drawn tram was used in 1891. The construction of the railway lines enabled the old suburbs to merge gradually into Donji Grad, characterized by a regular block pattern that prevails in Central European cities. This bustling core hosts many imposing buildings, monuments, and parks as well as a multitude of museums, theaters and cinemas. An electric power plant was built in 1907. Since 1 January 1877, the Grik cannon is fired daily from the Lotuskak Tower on Grik to mark midday. The first half of the 20th century saw a considerable expansion of Zagreb. Before World War I, the city expanded and neighborhoods like Stara Pesanitsa in the east and Kronomorets in the west were created. After the war, working-class districts such as Trnje emerged between the railway and the Sava, whereas the construction of residential districts on the hills of the southern slopes of Medvednica was completed between the two world wars. In the 1920s, the population of Zagreb increased by 70%—the largest demographic boom in the history of the town. In 1926, the first radio station in the region began broadcasting from Zagreb, and in 1947 the Zagreb Fair was opened. During World War II, Zagreb became the capital of the independent state of Croatia, which was backed by Nazi Germany and the Italians. The history of Zagreb in World War II became rife with incidents of regime terror and resistance sabotage, and the Ustasa regime had thousands of people executed during the war in and near the city. The city was liberated by the partisans at the end of the war. From 1945 until 1990, Zagreb was the capital of the Socialist Republic of Croatia, one of the six constituent socialist republics of the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. <laughs> Modern Zagreb The area between the railway and the Sava River witnessed a new construction boom after World War II. After the mid-1950s, construction of new residential areas south of the Sava River began, resulting in Norvi Zagreb, Croatian for New Zagreb, originally called Juzni Zagreb, Southern Zagreb. Today Norvi Zagreb is divided in two city districts, Norvi Zagreb Zapad West, Norvi Zagreb and Norvi Zagreb Istok East Norvi Zagreb. The city also expanded westward and eastward, incorporating Dubrava, Podsused, Jaran, Blato and other settlements. The cargo railway hub and the international airport Pleso were built south of the Sava River. 
The largest industrial zone in the southeastern part of the city represents an extension of the industrial zones on the eastern outskirts of the city, between the Sava and the Prigoya region. Zagreb also hosted the Summer Universiade in 1987, during the 1991–1995 Croatian War of Independence, it was a scene of some sporadic fighting surrounding its JNA army barracks, but escaped major damage. In May 1995, it was targeted by Serb rocket artillery in two rocket attacks which killed seven civilians. An urbanized area connects Zagreb with the surrounding towns of Zaprizic, Samobor, Dugo Selo and Velika Gorica. Sesvete was the first and the closest area to become a part of the agglomeration and is already included in the city of Zagreb for administrative purposes and now forms the easternmost city district. Topic. Area and population development Topic. Geography Topic. Climate The climate of Zagreb is classified as an oceanic climate, Köppen climate classification Cfb, but with significant continental influences and very closely bordering on a humid continental climate Dfb, as well as a humid subtropical climate Cfa. Zagreb has four separate seasons. Summers are warm, at the end of May the temperatures start rising and it is often pleasant with occasional thunderstorms. Heatwaves can occur but are short-lived. Temperatures rise above 30 degrees Celsius 86 degrees Fahrenheit on an average 14.6 days each summer. Rainfall is abundant in the summertime and it continues to be in autumn as well. Zagreb is Europe's ninth wettest capital, behind Luxembourg and ahead of Brussels, Belgium. Autumn in its early stages is mild with an increase of rainy days and precipitation as well as a steady temperature fall towards its end. Morning fog is common from mid-October to January with northern city districts at the foothills of the Medvednica mountain as well as those along the Sava River being more prone to all-day fog accumulation. Winters are cold with a precipitation decrease pattern. Even though there is no discernible dry season, February is the driest month with 39 mm of precipitation. On average there are 29 days with snowfall with first snow falling in early November, springs are generally mild and pleasant with frequent weather changes and are windier than other seasons. Sometimes cold spells can occur, mostly in its early stages. The average daily mean temperature in the winter is around 1 degree Celsius 34 degrees Fahrenheit from December to February and the average temperature in the summer is 22.0 degrees Celsius 71.6 degrees Fahrenheit. The highest recorded temperature at the Maximir weather station was 40.4 degrees Celsius 104.7 degrees Fahrenheit in July 19 1950, and lowest was -27.3 degrees Celsius in February 1956. A temperature of minus 30.5 degrees Celsius minus 22.9 degrees Fahrenheit was recorded on the since defunct Boring Gauge airfield in February 1940. Topic: Cityscape. 
The most important historical high-rise constructions are Neboda on Ban Yelichich Square, Sabona Tower and Zagrebkanka on Savska Street, Mamutika in Travno Norvi Zagreb, Istok District, built in 1974 and Zagreb TV Tower on Seljeme, built in 1973. In the 2000s, the city assembly approved a new plan that allowed for the many recent high-rise buildings in Zagreb, such as the Almeria Tower, Eurotower, Hoto Tower, Zagreb Tower and one of the tallest skyscrapers Sky Office Tower. In Norvi Zagreb, the neighborhoods of Blato and Lanishta expanded significantly, including the Zagreb Arena and the adjoining business center, due to a long-standing restriction that forbade the construction of 10-story or higher buildings. Most of Zagreb's high-rise buildings date from the 1970s and 1980s and new apartment buildings on the outskirts of the city are usually four to eight floors tall. Exceptions to the restriction have been made in recent years, such as permitting the construction of high-rise buildings in Lanishta or Kajerika. Zagreb sites Topic. Surroundings The wider Zagreb area has been continuously inhabited since the prehistoric period, as witnessed by archaeological findings in the Veternica cave from the Paleolithic and excavation of the remains of the Roman Andautonia near the present village of Shitarjevo. Picturesque former villages on the slopes of Medvednica, Sestin, Grakani, and Rimete maintain their rich traditions, including folk costumes, Sestin umbrellas, and gingerbread products. To the north is the Medvednica mountain, Croatian, Zagrebaka Gora, with its highest peak Seljeme, 1,035 meters, where one of the tallest structures in Croatia, Zagreb TV Tower, is located. The Sava and the Kupa valleys are to the south of Zagreb, and the region of Harvatsko Zagoya is located on the other northern side of the Medvednica hill. In mid-January 2005, Seljeme held its first World Ski Championship tournament. From the summit, weather permitting, the vista reaches as far as Velobit Range along Croatia's rocky northern coast, as well as the snow-capped peaks of the towering Julian Alps in neighboring Slovenia. There are several lodging villages, offering accommodation and restaurants for hikers. Skiers visit Seljeme, which has four ski runs, three ski lifts and a chairlift. The old Medvedgrad, a recently restored medieval berg was built in the 13th century on Medvednica Hill. It overlooks the western part of the city and also hosts the Shrine of the Homeland, a memorial with an eternal flame, where Croatia pays reverence to all its heroes fallen for homeland in its history, customarily on national holidays. The ruined medieval fortress Sazedgrad is located on far western side of Medvednica Hill. It has been abandoned since the early 17th century, but it is visited during the year. Zagreb occasionally experiences earthquakes, due to the proximity of Zumbarak Medvednica fault zone. It's classified as an area of high seismic activity. The area around Medvednica was the epicenter of the 1880 Zagreb earthquake magnitude 6.3, and the area is known for occasional landslide threatening houses in the area. The proximity of strong seismic sources presents a real danger of strong earthquakes. Croatian Chief of Office of Emergency Management Pavla Karlinic stated Zagreb experiences around 400 earthquakes a year, most of them being imperceptible. However, in case of a strong earthquake, it's expected that 3,000 people would die and up to 15,000 would be wounded. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Demographics. Zagreb is by far the largest city in Croatia in terms of area and population. The official 2011 census counted 792,325 residents, although due to a substantial immigrant influx the number of people residing in the city is much higher. Zagreb metropolitan area population is slightly above 1.1 million inhabitants, as it includes the Zagreb county. Zagreb metropolitan area makes approximately a quarter of a total population of Croatia. In 1997, the city of Zagreb itself was given special county status, separating it from Zagreb County, although it remains the administrative center of both. The majority of its citizens are Croats making up 93% of the city's population 2011 census. The same census records around 55,000 residents belonging to ethnic minorities, 17,526 Serbs, 2.22%, 8,119 Bosniaks, 1.03%, 4,292 Albanians, 0.54%, 2,755 Romani, 0.3 5%, 2,132 Slovenes, 0.27%, 1,194 Macedonians, 0.15%, 1,191 Montenegrins, 0.15%, and a number of other smaller communities. Topic. City districts Since 14 December 1999 city of Zagreb is divided into 17 city districts Gradska CETVRT, Place Gradski CETVRT City districts are subdivided in 218 local committees as primary units of local self-government. Topic. Settlements The city itself is not the only standalone settlement in the city of Zagreb administrative area, there are a number of larger urban settlements like Sesvete and Lucko and a number of smaller villages attached to it whose population is tracked separately. There are 70 settlements in the city of Zagreb administrative area. Topic: Government and politics. The current mayor of Zagreb is Milan Bandic, BM 365 Labour and Solidarity Party. He was confirmed as mayor on the 4th of June 2017, Zagreb local elections 2017, second round. Two deputy mayors vice mayoresses are Jelena Pavicic Vukicevic and Olivera Jerkovic Magic. The Zagreb Assembly is composed of 51 representatives. Last elections were held on 21 May 2017 Zagreb local elections. The current structure of the city assembly by party lines is as follows: the 2nd of December 2017. Topic: Elections. Zagreb local elections 2017. Zagreb local elections 2013. Zagreb local elections 2009 Zagreb local elections 2005 Topic Administration 
According to the constitution, the city of Zagreb, as the capital of Croatia, has a special status. As such, Zagreb performs self-governing public affairs of both city and county. It is also the seat of the Zagreb County which encircles Zagreb. The city administration bodies are the Zagreb City Assembly as the representative body and the Mayor of Zagreb who is the executive head of the city. The City Assembly is the representative body of the citizens of the City of Zagreb elected for a four-year term on the basis of universal suffrage in direct elections by secret ballot using proportional system with DONT method in a manner specified by law. There are 51 representatives in the City Assembly, among them President and Vice Presidents of the Assembly are elected by the representatives. Prior to 2009, the mayor was elected by the city assembly. It was changed to direct elections by majoritarian vote two -round system in 2009. The mayor is the head of the city administration and has two deputies directly elected together with him, her. The term of office of the mayor and his, her deputies is four years. The mayor with the deputies may be recalled by a referendum according to law not less than 20% of all electors in the city of Zagreb or not less than two-thirds of the Zagreb Assembly city deputies have the right to initiate a city referendum regarding recalling of the mayor, when a majority of voters taking part in the referendum vote in favor of the recall, provided that majority includes not less than one-third of all persons persons entitled to vote in the city of Zagreb, i.e. one-third of persons in the city of Zagreb electoral register, the mayor's mandate shall be deemed revoked and special mayoral by-elections shall be held. In the city of Zagreb the mayor is also responsible for the state administration due to the special status of Zagreb as a city with county rights. There isn't state administration office which in all counties performs tasks of the central government. City administration offices, institutions and services 18 city offices, one public institute or bureau and two city services have been founded for performing activities within the self-administrative sphere and activities entrusted by the state administration. The city administrative bodies are managed by the principals appointed by the mayor for a four-year term of office, may be appointed again to the same duty. The city assembly professional service is managed by the secretary of the city assembly appointed by the assembly. Local government is organized in 17 city districts or city boroughs represented by city district councils. Residents of districts elect members of councils. Topic: International relations. Topic: Twin towns, sister cities. Zagreb is twinned with the following towns and cities. Topic: <inaudible> Partner cities. The city has partnership arrangements with. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Culture. Topic: Tourism. Zagreb is an important tourist center, not only in terms of passengers traveling from the rest of Europe to the Adriatic Sea, but also as a travel destination itself. 
Since the end of the war, it has attracted close to a million visitors annually, mainly from Austria, Germany and Italy, and in recent years many tourists from Far East South Korea, Japan, China, and last two years, from India. It has become an important tourist destination, not only in Croatia, but considering the whole region of southeastern Europe. There are many interesting sites and happenings for tourists to attend in Zagreb, for example, the two statues of St. George, one at the Republic of Croatia Square, the other at Kamenita Vrata, where the image of Virgin Mary is said to be only thing that hasn't burned in the 17th century fire. Also, there is an art installation starting in Bogovaseva Street, called Nine Views. Most people don't know what the statue Prize Mie no Sunths, the grounded sun, is for, and just scrawl graffiti or signatures on it, but it's actually the sun scaled down, with many planets situated all over Zagreb in scale with the sun. There are also many festivals and events throughout the year, which made Zagreb a year-round tourist destination for many years already. Points of interest The historical part of the city to the north of Ban Jelicic Square is composed of the Gornji Grad and Kaptol, a medieval urban complex of churches, palaces, museums, galleries and government buildings that are popular with tourists on sightseeing tours. The historic district can be reached on foot, starting from Jelicic Square, the center of Zagreb, or by a funicular on nearby Tomaseva Street. Each Saturday, from April till the end of September, on St. Mark's Square in the Upper Town, tourists can meet members of the Order of the Silver Dragon Red Srebnog Z Major, who reenact famous historical conflicts between Gradic and Kaptol. It's a great opportunity for all visitors to take photographs of authentic and fully functional historical replicas of medieval armor. In 2010 more than 600,000 tourists visited the city, with a 10% increase seen in 2011. In 2012 a total of 675,707 tourists visited the city. The record number of tourists visited Zagreb in 2017. 1.286.087, up 16% compared to the year before, which generated 2.263.758 overnight stays, up 14.8%. Souvenirs and gastronomy Numerous shops, boutiques, storehouses and shopping centers offer a variety of quality clothing. There are about 14 big shopping centers in Zagreb. Zagreb's offerings include crystal, china and ceramics, wicker or straw baskets, and top quality Croatian wines and gastronomic products. Notable Zagreb souvenirs are the tie or cravat, an accessory named after Croats who wore characteristic scarves around their necks in the Thirty Years' War in the 17th century and the ball-point pen, a tool developed from the inventions by Slavljub Eduard Penkala, an inventor and a citizen of Zagreb. Many Zagreb restaurants offer various specialties of national and international cuisine. Domestic products which deserve to be tasted include turkey, duck or goose with m linci, a kind of pasta, strutli, cottage cheese strudel, sir ivrhnje, cottage cheese with cream, kremsnite, custard slices in flaky pastry, and orangeaka, traditional walnut roll. Topic: Museums. <laughs> <laughs> Zagreb's numerous museums reflect the history, art and culture not only of Zagreb and Croatia, but also of Europe and the world. 
Around 30 collections in museums and galleries comprise more than 3.6 million various exhibits, excluding church and private collections. The Archaeological Museum 19 Nikola Subic Zarinsky Square collections, today consisting of nearly 450,000 varied archaeological artifacts and monuments, have been gathered over the years from many different sources. These holdings include evidence of Croatian presence in the area. The most famous are the Egyptian collection, the Zagreb mummy and bandages with the oldest Etruscan inscription in the world Liber Lintius Zagrabiensis, as well as the numismatic collection. Modern Gallery Croatian, Moderna Galerija, holds the most important and comprehensive collection of paintings, sculptures and drawings by 19th and 20th century Croatian artists. The collection numbers more than 10,000 works of art, housed since 1934 in the historic Vranikzani Palace in the center of Zagreb, overlooking the Zed Rinvac Park. A secondary gallery is the Josip Rasik Studio at Margaretska III, Croatian Natural History Museum Metrova Street, holds one of the world's most important collection of Neanderthal remains found at one site. These are the remains, stone weapons and tools of prehistoric Krapina man. The holdings of the Croatian Natural History Museum comprise more than 250,000 specimens distributed among various collections. Technical Museum 18 Savska Street was founded in 1954 and it maintains the oldest preserved machine in the area, dating from 1830, which is still operational. The museum exhibits numerous historic aircraft, cars, machinery and equipment. There are some distinct sections in the museum, the planetarium, the apazarium, the mine model of mines for coal, iron and non-ferrous metals, about 300 meters 980 feet long, and the Nikola Tesla study, Museum of the City of Zagreb, 20 Opatica Street was established in 1907 by the Association of the Bracha Harvatskog Z Major. It is located in a restored monumental complex Popov Torange, the observatory, Zak Mardi Granary of the former convent of the Poor Clares, of 1650. The museum deals with topics from the cultural, artistic, economic and political history of the city spanning from Roman finds to the modern period. The holdings comprise over 80,000 items arranged systematically into collections of artistic and mundane objects characteristic of the city and its history. Arts and Crafts Museum 10 Republic of Croatia Square was founded in 1880 with the intention of preserving the works of art and craft against the new predominance of industrial products. With its 160,000 exhibits, the Arts and Crafts Museum is a national-level museum for artistic production and the history of material culture in Croatia. Ethnographic Museum, 14 Ivan Mazuranić Square, was founded in 1919. It lies in the fine secession building of the one-time Trades Hall of 1903. The ample holdings of about 80,000 items cover the ethnographic heritage of Croatia, classified in the three cultural zones, the Pannonian, Dinaric and Adriatic. Mamara Museum 5 Roosevelt Square was founded with a donation from anti Mamara topic and opened to the public in 1987. It is located in a late 19th century neo-Renaissance palace. The holdings comprise 3,750 works of art of various techniques and materials, and different cultures and civilizations. Croatian Museum of Naive Art works by Croatian primitivists at 3 Cyrilometodska Street is one of the first museums of naive art in the world. 
The museum holds works of Croatian naive expression of the 20th century. It is located in the 18th century Rafay Palace in the Gornji Grad. The museum holdings consist of almost 2,000 works of art, paintings, sculptures, drawings, and prints, mainly by Croatians but also by other well known world artists. From time to time, the museum organizes topics and retrospective exhibitions by naive artists, expert meetings and educational workshops and playrooms. The Museum of Contemporary Art was founded in 1954. Its new building hosts a rich collection of Croatian and international contemporary visual art which has been collected throughout the decades from the 1950s till today. The museum is located in the center of Norvi Zagreb, opened in 2009. The old location, 2 St. Catherine's Square, is part of the Kulmer Palace in the Gornji Grad. Other museums and galleries. Valuable historical collections are also found in the Croatian School Museum, the Croatian Hunting Museum, the Croatian Sports Museum, the Croatian Post and Telecommunications Museum, the HAZU Croatian Academy of Sciences and Arts collection of monuments, and the HAZU Graphics Cabinet. The Strossmeyer Gallery of Old Masters 11 Square offers permanent holdings presenting European paintings from the 14th to 19th centuries, and the Ivan Mestrovich Studio, 8 Multaka Street with sculptures, drawings, lithography portfolios and other items, was a donation of this great artist to his homeland the Museum and Gallery Center 4 Jesuit Square introduces on various various occasions the Croatian and foreign cultural and artistic heritage. The Art Pavilion 22 King Tomislav Square by Viennese architects Helmer and Felmer who were the most famous designers of theatres in Central Europe is a neoclassical exhibition complex and one of the landmarks of the downtown. The exhibitions are also held in the impressive Mestrovic building on Zedartava Fascisma Square the home of Croatian fine artists. The World Center, Wonder of Croatian Naive Art, 12 Ban Jelicic Square exhibits masterpieces of Croatian naive art as well as the works of a new generation of artists. The Modern Gallery 1 Hebrangova Street comprises all relevant fine artists of the 19th and 20th centuries. The Museum of Broken Relationships at 2 Cyrilometodska holds people's mementos of past relationships. It is the first private museum in the country. Lorber House 23A Baruna Filipovica presents works from Philip Trade Collection, a large private collection of modern and contemporary Croatian art and current artistic production. Topic: <laughs> Events <laughs> 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 Zagreb developed its advent several years, and it has been awarded Best Christmas Market three years in a row. Hosting numerous events for six weeks, from December 1 till January 6, Zagreb has been, and is, hosting some of the most popular mainstream artists. In the past few years, their concerts held The Rolling Stones, U2, Eric Clapton, Deep Purple, Bob Dylan, David Bowie, Roger Waters, Depeche Mode, Prodigy, Beyonce, Nick Cave, Jamiroquai, Manu Chow, Massive Attack. Metallica, Snoop Dogg, Lady Gaga, Duran Duran as well as some of world most recognized underground artists such as Dimu Borgir, Sepultura, Melvins, Mastodon and many more. Zagreb is also a home of the In Music Festival, one of the biggest open-air festivals in Croatia which is being held every year, usually at the end of June. 
There are also many jazz festivals like Zagreb Jazz Festival which was the host for some of the most popular artists from world jazz scene like Pat Metheny or Sonny Rollins just to name a few. Zagreb is also home of many others club festivals like Zedno UHO where many of indie, rock, metal and electronica artists like Animal Collective, Melvins, Butthole Surfers, Crippled Black Phoenix, No Means No, The National Band, Mark Lanigan, Swans Band, Mudhoney etc. made their performances around the clubs and concert halls of Zagreb. This is mostly recognized because of the city's location, and its good traffic relations with other neighboring European capital cities such as Vienna and Budapest. This is the effort of Zagreb community to increase the percentage of tourist visits during the summer time, as Croatia, in general, is a popular destination for many people around the globe during the vacation period. Topic. Performing arts There are about 20 permanent or seasonal theatres and stages. The Croatian National Theatre in Zagreb was built in 1895 and opened by Emperor Franz Joseph I of Austria. The most renowned concert hall named Vatroslav Lazinski after the composer of the first Croatian opera, was built in 1973. Animefest, the world festival of animated films, takes place every even-numbered year, and the Music Biennale, the international festival of avant-garde music, every odd-numbered year. It also hosts the annual Zagrebdix Documentary Film Festival. The Festival of the Zagreb Philharmonic and the Flowers Exhibition Florart end of May or beginning of June, the Old Timer Rally Annual Events. In the summer, theatre performances and concerts, mostly in the upper town, are organised either indoors or outdoors. The stage on Opatovina hosts the Zagreb Histrionic Summer Theatre Events. Zagreb is also the host of Zagrebfest, the oldest Croatian pop music festival, as well as of several traditional international sports events and tournaments. The Day of the City of Zagreb on 16 November is celebrated every year with special festivities, especially on the Jaran Lake in the southwestern part of the city. Topic. Recreation and sports Zagreb is home to numerous sports and recreational centers. Recreational Sports Center Jaren, situated on Jaren Lake in the southwest of the city, has fine shingle beaches, a world-class regatta course, a jogging lane around the lake, several restaurants, many nightclubs and a discotheque. Its sports and recreation opportunities include swimming, sunbathing, waterskiing, angling and other water sports, but also beach volleyball, football, basketball, handball, table tennis, and mini golf. Dom Sportova, a sport center in northern Tresniejuka features six halls. The largest two have seating capacity of 5,000 and 3,100 people, respectively. This center is used for basketball, handball, volleyball, hockey, gymnastics, tennis, etc. It also hosts music events. Arena Zagreb was finished in 2008. The 16,500-seat arena hosted the 2009 World Men's Handball Championship. The Drazen Petrovic Basketball Hall seats 5,400 people. Alongside the hall is the 94-metre high-glass Sabona Tower. 
Sports Park Mladost, situated on the embankment of the Sava River, has an Olympic-size swimming pool, smaller indoor and outdoor swimming pools, a sunbathing terrace, 16 tennis courts as well as basketball, volleyball, handball, football and field hockey courts. A volleyball sports hall is within the park. Sports and Recreational Center Salata, located in Salata, only a couple hundred meters from the Yelichich Square, is most attractive for tennis players. It comprises a big tennis court and eight smaller ones, two of which are covered by the so-called balloon, and another two equipped with lights. The center also has swimming pools, basketball courts, football fields, a gym and fitness center, and a four-lane bowling alley. Outdoor ice skating is a popular winter recreation. There are also several fine restaurants within and near the center. Maximir Tennis Center, located in Ravnice east of downtown, consists of two sports blocks. The first comprises a tennis center situated in a large tennis hall with four courts. There are 22 outdoor tennis courts with lights. The other block offers multi-purpose sports facilities. Apart from tennis courts, there are handball, basketball and indoor football grounds, as well as track and field facilities, a bocce ball alley and table tennis opportunities. Recreational swimmers can enjoy a smaller size indoor swimming pool in Danisaseva Street, and a newly opened indoor Olympic size pool at Utrine Sports Center in Norvi Zagreb. Skaters can skate in the skating rink on TRG Sportova Sports Square and on the Lake Jaren Skaters Park. Hippodrome Zagreb offers recreational horseback riding opportunities, while horse races are held every weekend during the warmer part of the year. The 38,923-seat Maximir Stadium, last ten years under renovation, is located in Maximir in the northeastern part of the city. The stadium is part of the immense Svetus Recreational and Sports Complex Cirque Svetus, south of the Maximir Park. The complex covers an area of 276,440 square meters 68 acres. It is part of a significant green zone, which passes from Medvednica Mountains in the north toward the south. Cirque Svetus, together with Maximir Park, creates an ideal connection of areas which are assigned to sport, recreation and leisure. The latest larger recreational facility is Bundek, a group of two small lakes near the Sava in Norvi Zagreb, surrounded by a partly forested park. The location had been used prior to the 1970s, but then went to neglect until 2006 when it was renovated. Some of the most notable sport clubs in Zagreb are, NK Dynamo Zagreb, KHL Medveskak Zagreb, RK Zagreb, KK Sabona, KK Zagreb, KK Sedevita, NK Zagreb, HAVK Mladust and others. The city hosted the 2016 Davis Cup World Group Final between Croatia and Argentina. Religion Churches The Archdiocese of Zagreb is a metropolitan see of the Catholic Church in Croatia, serving as its religious center. The current Archbishop is Josip Cardinal Bosanić. The Catholic Church is the largest religious organization in Zagreb, Catholicism being the predominant religion of Croatia, with over 1.1 million adherents. Zagreb is also the Episcopal See of the Metropolitanate of Zagreb and Ljubljana of the Serbian Orthodox Church. 
Islamic Religious Organization of Croatia has the see in Zagreb. Current president is Mufti Aziz Hasanovic. There used to be a mosque in the Mestrovic Pavilion during World War II at the Zedartava Fascisma Square, but it was relocated to the neighborhood of Borovia in Pesanica. Mainstream Protestant churches have also been present in Zagreb, Evangelical Lutheran Church and Reformed Christian Calvinist Church. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints LDS Church is also present in the Zagreb neighborhood of Jaran whereas Jehovah's Witnesses have their headquarters in central Zagreb. In total there are around 40 non-Catholic religious organizations and denominations in Zagreb with their headquarters and places of worship across the city making it a large and diverse multicultural community. Topic: Economy and infrastructure. The most important branches of industry are production of electrical machines and devices, chemical, pharmaceutical, textile, food and drink processing. Zagreb is an international trade and business center, as well as an essential transport hub placed at the crossroads of Central Europe, the Mediterranean and the Southeast Europe. Almost all of the largest Croatian as well as Central European companies and conglomerates such as Agrocor, Ina, Harvatsky Telecom have their headquarters in the city. The only Croatian stock exchange is the Zagreb Stock Exchange Croatian, Zagrebaka Berza, which is located in Eurotower, one of the tallest Croatian skyscrapers. According to 2008 data, the city of Zagreb has the highest PPP and nominal gross domestic product per capita in Croatia at $32,185.27,271 respectively, compared to the Croatian averages of $18,686 and $15,758, as of May May 2015, the average monthly net salary in Zagreb was 6,669 kuna, about 870 euros. Croatian average is 5,679 kuna, about 740 euros. At the end of 2012, the average unemployment rate in Zagreb was around 9.5%. 34% of companies in Croatia have headquarters in Zagreb, and 38.4% of the Croatian workforce works in Zagreb, including almost all banks, utility and public transport companies. Companies in Zagreb create 52% of total turnover and 60% of total profit of Croatia in 2006, as well as 35% of Croatian export and 57% of Croatian import. Topic: Transport. Topic: Highways. Zagreb is the hub of five major Croatian highways. The Highway A6 was upgraded in October 2008 and leads from Zagreb to Rijeka, and forming a part of the Pan-European Corridor VB. The upgrade coincided with the opening of the bridge over the Mura River on the A4 and the completion of the Hungarian M7, which marked the opening of the first freeway corridor between Rijeka and Budapest. The A1 starts at the Lukko interchange and concurs with the A6 up to the Bosiljevo 2 interchange, connecting Zagreb and Split as of October 2008 via Gorak. A further extension of the A1 up to Dubrovnik is under construction. 
Both highways are tolled by the Croatian highway authorities Harvatski Autocest and Autocesta Rijeka, Zagreb. Highway A3, formerly named Bratstvo i Jedinstvo, was the showpiece of Croatia in the SFRY. It is the oldest Croatian highway. A3 forms a part of the Pan European Corridor X. The highway starts at the Bragana border crossing, bypasses Zagreb forming the southern arch of the Zagreb bypass and ends at Lipovac near the Bajakovo border crossing. It continues in southeast Europe in the direction of Near East. This highway is tolled except for the stretch between Bobovica and Ivanja Reka interchanges. Highway A2 is a part of the Corridor XA. It connects Zagreb and the frequently congested Mese border crossing, forming a near-continuous motorway level link between Zagreb and Western Europe. Forming a part of the Corridor VB, Highway A4 starts in Zagreb forming the northeastern wing of the Zagreb bypass and leads to Hungary until the Gorokan border crossing. It is often used highway around Zagreb, the railway and the highway A3 along the Sava River that extend to Slavonia towards Slavonsky Brod, Vinkovci, Osijek and Vukovar are some of the busiest traffic corridors in the country. The railway running along the Sutla River and the A2 highway Zagreb running through Zagoya, as well as traffic connections with the Pannonian region and Hungary the Zagoya Railroad, the roads and railway to Varazdan Kakovec and Koprivnica are linked with truck routes. The southern railway connection to Split operates on a high-speed tilting trains line via the Lika region renovated in 2004 to allow for a five-hour journey. A faster line along the Una River valley is currently in use only up to the border between Croatia and Bosnia and Herzegovina. <laughs> Roads. The city has an extensive avenue network with numerous main arteries up to 10 lanes wide and Zagreb Bypass, a congested four-lane highway encircling most of the city. Traffic jams and daytime parking space are a great problem in the wider city center area during the rush hour. Finding a parking space is supposed to be made somewhat easier by the construction of new underground multi-story parking lots Importan Center, Importan Gallery, Lang Square, Tuscanac, Caverturnic Square, Clayic Street, etc. The busiest roads are the main east-west arteries, former highway, Brotherhood and Unity consisting of Lubyanska Avenue, Zagrebaka Avenue and Slavonska Avenue, and the Vukovarska Avenue, the closest bypass of the city centre. The avenues were supposed to alleviate traffic problem, but most of them are today gridlocked at rush hour and others, like Branimirova Avenue and Dubrovnik Avenue which are gridlocked for the whole day. European Route C-59, E-65 and E-70 serve Zagreb. <inaudible> <inaudible> Bridges Zagreb has seven road traffic bridges across the River Sava, and they all span both the river and the levees, making them all by and large longer than 200 metres in downstream order, these are There are also two rail traffic bridges across the Sava, one near the Sava Bridge and one near Machevets, as well as two bridges that are part of the Zagreb Bypass, one near Zaprizic west, and the other near Ivanja Reka east. Two additional bridges across the river Sava are proposed, Jaran Bridge and Bundek Bridge. Topic: Public transportation. 
Public transportation in the city is organized in several layers, the inner parts of the city are mostly covered by trams, the outer city areas and closer suburbs are linked with buses and rapid transit commuter rail. The public transportation company ZET Zagrebaki Elektrisny Tramvai, Zagreb Electric Tram operates trams, all inner bus lines, and the most of the suburban bus lines, and it is subsidized by the city council. The national rail operator Croatian Railways Hertz runs a network of urban and suburban train lines in the metropolitan Zagreb area, and is a government-owned corporation. The funicular in the historic part of the city is a tourist attraction. Taxi market has been liberalized in early 2018 and numerous transport companies have been allowed to enter the market, consequently, the prices significantly dropped whereas the service was immensely improved so the popularity of taxis in Zagreb has been increasing from then onwards. <laughs> Tram network. Zagreb has an extensive tram network with 15-day and 4-night lines covering much of the inner and middle suburbs of the city. The first tram line was opened on 5 September 1891 and trams have been serving as a vital component of Zagreb mass transit ever since. Trams usually travel at speeds of 30 to 50 km per hour 19 to 31 miles per hour, but slow considerably during rush hour. The network operates at the curb whereas on larger avenues its tracks are situated inside the green belts. An ambitious program, which entailed replacing old trams with the new and modern ones built mostly in Zagreb by companies Konkar Electroindustrija and, to a lesser extent, by TZV Gride, has recently been finished. The new TMK 2200 trams by the end of 2012 made around 95% of the fleet. Topic. Suburban rail network The commuter rail network in Zagreb has existed since 1992. In 2005, suburban rail services were increased to a 15-minute frequency serving the middle and outer suburbs of Zagreb, primarily in the east-west direction and to the southern districts. This has enhanced the commuting opportunities across the city. A new link to the nearby town of Samobor has been announced and is due to start construction in 2014. This link will be standard gauge and tie in with normal Croatian Railways operations. The previous narrow gauge line to Samobor called Samoborček was closed in the 1970s. Topic. Air traffic Zagreb Airport IATA, ZAG, ICAO, LDZA, is the main Croatian international airport, a 17 km drive southeast of Zagreb in the city of Velika Gorica. The airport is also the main Croatian airbase featuring a fighter squadron, helicopters, as well as military and freight transport aircraft. The airport had 2.77 millions of passengers in 2016 with a new passenger terminal being opened in late March 2017 that can accommodate up to 5.5 million passengers. Zagreb also has a second, smaller airport, Luko Ikeo, LDZL. It is home to sports aeroplanes and a Croatian special police unit, as well as being a military helicopter airbase. 
Lucko used to be the main airport of Zagreb from 1947 to 1959. A third, small grass airfield, Busevets, is located just outside Velika Gorica. It is primarily used for sports purposes. Topic: Education. Zagreb has 136 primary schools and 100 secondary schools including 30 gymnasia. There are five public higher education institution and nine private professional higher education schools. <laughs> University Founded in 1669, the University of Zagreb is the oldest continuously operating university in Croatia and one of the largest and oldest universities in the southeastern Europe. Ever since its foundation, the university has been continually growing and developing and now consists of 29 faculties, three art academies and the Croatian Studies Center. More than 200,000 students have attained the bachelor's degree at the university, which has also assigned 18,000 master's and 8,000 doctor's degrees. As of 2011, the University of Zagreb is ranked among 500 best universities of the world by the Shanghai Academic Ranking of World Universities. Zagreb is also the seat of two private universities, the Catholic University of Croatia and the Libertas International University, as well as numerous public and private polytechnics, colleges and higher professional schools. <laughs> See also